Mediatek currently dominates the smartphone SoC market with a whopping 34% market share. That's according to the SoC market research data in quarter 4 of 2024. By this data, Mediatek obviously powers a lot of flagships, mid-rangers, and basic smartphones that are currently in circulation. And just like any other thing, smartphones malfunction and develop faults, regardless of the chipset that powers the phone. Especially if it is software-related faults, you will need some tools to correct the errors by performing a reset, flashing certain partitions, or even reloading an entire firmware on the smartphone. And for that, you will need SP Flash 2. SP Flash 2 is one of the easiest, safest, and the most popular flash tool that is being used to flash MTK Android devices, partly due to its flexibility and simplicity in design. SP Flash 2 is a free service tool and very easy to operate. In this video, we're going to discuss how to flash any MTK Android devices using SP Flash 2. Okay, before I go into the step-by-step -step guides, let me first introduce you to SP Flash 2 basics. You should bear these basics in mind whenever you need to flash MediaTek devices using SP Flash 2. Now, the SP Flash 2 basics. Number one, the download agent, which is also known as DA file. Out of the box, SP Flash 2 comes preloaded with a default download agent that works fine with any MTK devices. However, if your MTK device has a secure boot, the default DA file might not work for it. Hence, you will be needing to find the download agent that is specifically meant for your device. Now, you might ask, how do I know if my device has a secure boot or not? You will know that your device has a secure boot from the SP Flash 2 error prompt that appears shortly after the flashing process commences. Number 2 the scatter file the scatter file can be likened to a guide or firmware map for sp flash 2 with that said scatter file is a file that contains all the necessary information about every partition or image files that are contained in the firmware this information includes sectors volumes and sizes and various ids scatter file usually comes ready made in the firmware and can be easily located in the individual firmware folder. But in the event that you have sourced your firmware partitions to be flashed from various sources, be sure that the partition image file names, sector sizes, and volumes are correctly present in the scatter file to be used. Otherwise, SP Flash 2 will either flash wrongly or throws an error. This is because scatter file is very specific to a particular model and sometimes exact variant of, of phone. Number three, the alt file. For most empty camera devices, SP Flash 2 does not require alt file for successful operation, but Alcatel, Xiaomi, and a few other brands MediaTek devices almost always require alt file. Similar to scatter file, the alt files are also usually contained in the respective device's firmware folder. However, all MTK Android devices that are secure boot requires an alt file before any successful flashing can be done. If a formatting using EISP Flash Tool or any other service tool was done prior to flashing. To avoid this edict, be sure to avoid formatting your devices using SP Flash Tool. The flash settings. This is where you instruct SP Flash which sequences are to be used during flashing. Now, this is where most people get it wrong because even with the right firmware selection, choosing an inappropriate option here can break your entire effort. Under flash settings in SP Flash 2, there are three options. I'll explain them one after the other. First, the format all plus download option. This option first erases all the partitions data before it downloads the fresh ones on the phone. This option would have been the best, but devices with secure boots do have NV related issues after flashing. These issues include baseband, kernel, 
and radio issues, which bring about null IMEI and prevent the phone from accessing and receiving network receptions. The second option is firmware upgrade. This option, as the name implies, only upgrades the phone firmware. The most common issue with this option is the phone ends up bootlooping, thus incessant restarts. But once you factory reset the phone through the phone's recovery mode, it will be fine and the phone would then boot up as it should normally do. And the last option in the flash settings is download only. This is the best option to choose, provided you have got the right flash files for the device. This option almost never fails. And by that, we are done with the brief explanation on SP Flash 2 basics. Now, let's flash a MediaTek powered Android device. To begin with, download SP Flash 2. To flash a MediaTek Android device using SP Flash 2, the first thing you need to do is to download SP Flash 2. You can find the link to download the latest SP Flash 2 in the description of this video below. Step 2. Unpack SP Flash 2. Once you have downloaded SP Flash 2, because it is usually in .7-zip or .rar file format, therefore, you would need to unpack or extract the file onto a folder on your PC. You can use WinRAR or 7-zip file extractor. Now, download your device firmware. If you do not already have the firmware downloaded, now is the time to download your device firmware. You can find the link to download any device firmware and individual flash files in this video description below. The next step is to unpack the firmware file. The firmware file and flash files are usually compressed in .rar or .7-zip file format. Before such can be used, you would need to unzip or decompress the files on a folder on your PC. And now is the time to launch SP Flash 2. Open the folder in which you have unzipped SP Flash 2. Locate the SP Flash 2.exe and double click to open it. Preferably, you can open it as an admin. Once SP Flash 2 is opened, you can prepare SP Flash 2 for the procedures. To prepare SP Flash 2, select the appropriate DA file. Remember, you can use the default DA file that comes with SP Flash 2 if your device is not a secure boot device. Otherwise, you will need the device specific DA file. After that, select the scatter file that is contained in your firmware folder. You can also browse to whichever folder the scatter file might be located. Except you are certain that your device requires an alt file, you may proceed without an alt file. Meanwhile, if you proceed without an alt file when in fact your device needs an alt file, SP Flash would throw an error to that regard. Now, select your flash settings. First, remember what we said earlier. Here, the download only option is the best option to go for. After you have chosen the download only option, now is the time to confirm the Mac partitions. If you notice the moment your scatter file is loaded, SP Flash tool automatically selects and marks the corresponding partitions in the firmware folder. Except you have a very specific hint such as wanting to flash only the recovery or boot partition. You should proceed with the already selected partitions, with the exception of the preloader.bin file. And finally, click the download button. Now that everything is set, you may now click on the download button to begin flashing the selected partitions on the phone. At this point, your phone should be powered off, but not connected to its USB cable. Connect your USB cable to the PC. Now, connect the other hand of the USB cable to your phone and tap briefly on your phone's power button. Almost immediately, SP Flash should recognize the connection and begin the flashing process. Now, all you have to do is to wait a few minutes until the flashing operation is complete. Once everything is done, another successful prompt will be displayed on SP Flash 2. Okay, while we wait for SP Flash to flash and reload the selected partitions on the phone, let's do a quick recap of the entire process. Let's begin with the prerequisites. The first one, install MTK USB drivers on your PC. Without these drivers installed on your PC, 
SP Flash cannot establish connection with your phone, hence, installing the MTK driver should be the first thing to do. Second, download your device firmware and extract it onto a folder on your PC. Third, download SP Flash 2 and extract it onto a folder on your PC. And the fourth, get your device's compatible USB cable ready. Now, you are ready to flash, upgrade, update, or reload an entire OS on your MediaTek powered device using SP Flash 2. To begin, launch SP Flash 2 by opening the SP Flash folder. Locate flash2.exe file and double click it within the SP Flash 2 folder. Once it's opened, load scatter file on SP Flash 2. You can load scatter file from the device firmware folder or from anywhere you may have it on the PC. Once scatter file is loaded, SP Flash automatically marks all the partitions contained in the firmware folder. Make sure you unmark the preloader.bin file. I repeat, make sure you unmark the preloader.bin file. This is very important. Now, click on the download button as seller indicated in this video to begin the flashing operation. At this point, your phone must be switched off. If not, turn your phone off. Now, Connect the cable to your PC, then connect the other hand of the cable to your phone. And now, briefly tap on the power button on the phone. Almost immediately, the PC should establish a connection with your phone and SP Flash should commence the flashing operation promptly. After a few minutes, depending on the size of the firmware and the speed of the data transfers between the phone and the PC, the flashing process should be done with soon and SP Flash shall indicate when it is done. You may then close SP Flash 2 and disconnect your phone from the PC. And that's it. If you encounter any issues during flashing or have any questions to ask, just ask in your comment to this video and a helpful response shall be provided promptly. Thank you for watching this video to this end.